What's up, everyone? What's up? All right, what's going on, everyone? It's Baron. Uh, today we're going to be going over like predictions for within the year. Um, pretty much just going over what I think we could expect over the next twelve months of twenty twenty two. So I'm really just going to be touching on like Pyro, uh, Nix, uh, just ships in general. I don't care what you guys, what anyone really thinks. Uh, this is my opinion, this is what I think, listen to it, don't listen to it, I don't care. If you like this sort of formatted content that I've been doing lately, let me know down in the comments because I'm definitely enjoying doing it, it's a little bit more unscripted, it's a little bit more uh, genuine, it's sort of a better way to interact with you guys. Uh, but don't forget the T16000 giveaway, hashtag sticks, don't forget to become a channel member or patron to get more entries as well. Um, so... All the links in the description. Join our Discord as well. Um, that'd be really great and a referral code for Star Citizen. But we're going to get straight into it. I know you guys don't like all that stuff. Um, but we're going to get straight into this. And what we're really... I want to touch on is ships. What I think... When they're going to come out. How they're going to come out. And whatnot. So, I first of all, want to start off with the Banu Merchantman. So, as you can see here, it goes into quarter two of 2022. And it's around June. June. Um, so... When June? Like, that's Invictus, right? So, we could possibly see this for an Alien Week release at Invictus. I'm not 100% like, obviously, on this, but we could see it then. Um, we could see it around the Invictus sort of launch time. Now, as we know, um, the first iteration of server meshing is supposed to come out in the second quarter, and then I know there's people in the comments, oh, but they said that like five years ago, and they still haven't come out with it. Well, I don't care. I'm, this is my prediction, and if you don't like it, well, you know, there's other people out there you can watch, but, and that's kind of a dick, but <laughs> it's just the truth. Um, but what we can really see is that we know they've really, looks like they've tried to push on the Merchant Man. We might not even see it in Invictus. We could very well see it come at Citizen Con, but we might not. It could actually be, um, you know, coming out at Invictus, which is very highly likely. And like I said in my last video, if you really think about it, yes, Pyro is, you know, you can probably chill out there as well as there's going to be hostile, like hostile air there. The Merchant Man is perfect for that. And as we know, it looks like it's gone capital and it's very, very big. So the reason I say that we need these large ships because it's hostile and it is a greater distance across the system and planets as compared to um, Stanton, obviously, and Nyx. So with that, we're going to go have a look at Pyro. P-Y-R-O. So we've got Pyro. Once it loads it, so you've got Pyro stations, Pyro spacecaping, and sort of just like everything with Pyro in general. And Pyro was is actually scheduled to finish in 2022 of February, obviously. It's edging in the main part there. And that's the system, the planet, mission set up, everything. But the system space stations probably go on through to September. And obviously we know we need server meshing to have this system. So that's just, that's inevitable. We've got to have the server meshing there and that, that program. They might release it earlier. They might release it later. I don't know. This looks cool though. Xeno Threat Armor. So obviously you're going to have the Pyro Gang of Xeno Threats. So obviously you're going to have gangs there. You're going to have um, people you can affiliate with and have certain protection. And you don't have to be at war with everyone. You can have that sort of reputation with certain gangs. So I'm probably going to side with Xeno Threat. And hopefully there's a mission there where you can help them get the Idris. That's what I'm really hoping for. Not, not, not get the Idris, but surround the UEE and... Um, yeah, but I'm hoping, like, crimes in Pyro don't reflect uh, when you commit crimes against UE if they are there, if they are there. I'm hoping they don't, like, reflect and they don't get your ID and, like, put it into Stan. It, hopefully, it probably won't be, but it's just something I've been thinking about. So, obviously, space stations for Pyro won't be finished till around quarter three. And then you go and look at Nyx. So, we've got Nyx here. And Nyx is supposed to be about the same time, actually, as Pyro. And it probably is just the base of the system, or it could be the entire like the entire thing. But as it says here, the foundational work needed to implement Nyx. So I'm going to guess they would implement it once they've finished that foundational work. And as we can see, we'll have it server meshing. With the server mesh, um, 
obviously that's going on through to September. They could try and push it back a little bit, obviously being that, you know, they will implement it in the second quarter, so between April to June, and then they could still be working on it and putting little pieces in throughout quarter three and quarter four, and then obviously into 2023, they're going to keep working on server meshing. Uh, so once I would say they implement the first iteration of server meshing, they could up the server usage to like 100 people. They might leave it at 50 so just to see how they cruise along but then they could double the amount they could put about 80 to 100 slots in there maybe a little bit more just to like really stress test it obviously within the PTU and the Evo Cardi um, whatnot so obviously you got your ATC system rewrite there so that's obviously air traffic control management and whatnot and making it compatible with server meshing so there's obviously a lot of rewrites in here as well for server meshing to make it all sort of work together and whatnot but they probably for a lot of other stuff have the code there they've just commented that code out and then they'll just open it up once server meshing is put in so another ship I want to have a look at as well is uh, the Liberator. So you got the Anvil Liberator and you have the Odyssey. So the Liberator is, it's not being worked on as such right now. I think this might have been the original work for the concept. They might have finished it, I'm not too sure, but this is probably for the concept of it. So that we could probably see that uh, release either IAE next year, Citizen Con, or we could see it at um, the release of Pyro because we're going to need something like that to get smaller ships across to that system. So then you also have the, I don't know why it's not putting my first letter in, it's stupid. Uh, then you got Odyssey, which is the quarter two of this year. So we could definitely, again, we could probably see this come at Invictus. We could just see it come out um, in one of the patches in 3.18 or 3.19, maybe even 3.17. I'm going to th say 3.18. Obviously, we haven't seen the newest of patches for the four quarters of this year, which is it's unfortunate, but, it, you know, it is what it is. So there's a lot of work going on here, and a lot of it is going to be, obviously, for um, Squadron 42. So you've got Chapter 5 here, and you've got all those other chapters back there. And this is what I mean, like, they've finished most of these chapters already. And then you've got Chapter 26, 27. And so this is why I'm saying that we could very well, oh sorry, we could very well see Squadron 42 within a year or two. And I don't, again, I don't care about the people who bought this dead like two or three years ago and we still haven't seen it. Well, we had COVID two or three years ago again. So obviously there's going to be some massive delays there. And obviously Chris Roberts has moved to the UK to start working on it. I don't really mean to be hostile, but there's a lot of those people there and it's really annoying to see those comments like... There's no one with faith, and that's what kind of pisses me off. And there's a lot of yous out there that are scam citizens. Well, you might not be scam citizens, but you, you, I don't know what it is with you and the development team. And a, a lot of people think they understand the development behind a game. And as we can see as well, the Javelin's been finished um, like a long time ago. It looks like it was finished back in March of last year. Now, I could be wrong. It could still be getting worked on, obviously. Like the Idris, that one's supposed to be finished as well. So... There's just so many cool things that have been finished and worked on, and obviously we won't see the Javelin or the Idris or any sort of capital ship until Squadron 42 has actually been released, and there's sort of that gameplay foundation there for it as well. So we're probably going to see a lot of crime missions for Pyro. We're going to see a lot of scavenging missions. We're going to see a lot of missions like when we they went and got the um, that little artifact as well. So there's probably a lot of planet-involved missions, ground uh, combat missions, which will be really great. It's going to be a great change. It's going to be a lot of great different things. I think we could probably even hear about the Polaris and the Perseus. I think they will probably reboot the um, the development on those. We'll probably see the Corsair Quarter 2, Quarter 3 that was getting worked on, as I believe. So it was in works, and then they sort of put it on the back burner a little bit. But again... Uh, quarter quarter three 2022 so they could be coming out at in uh, IAE maybe even citizen con or they could just release it right next to um, pyro so that's another good explorational ship pirating vessel which has a lot of guns on it if you've seen it so like I said there's so many different ships coming there's a lot of cargo based ships coming like the merchantman the hull C the hull a there's gonna be a lot of potential there for people to earn money and get a lot of different gameplay and it's gonna really change people's gameplay style when it comes to actual like cargo missions and gameplay because obviously the to go from the carrick or the c2 or the caterpillar to a merchantman or a, like a 
a hull is just it's game changing. It's people are gonna make so much more money. And it's just gonna be so much more going on in the verse. There's gonna be so many different ships now. There's gonna be this is gonna be a big year. That's all I'm gonna say. To, like 2022 is going to be a massive year for Star Citizen and its players. And I'm going to say that for all those no-sayers and the people who are uh, scam citizen, uh, this will be the big finger in, like middle finger in the face. And it could have been back, you know, when last year that could have been, but this year is just going to change everything. And, you know, for the people who, oh, you know, it's not going to come, it's, you know, there's been a lot of delays... I think CIG realized they need to get this in the game because people are starting to feel like they're trapped and they're not going to get anything really. And I, th- it just feels like they realize what's happening right now and they're probably losing a lot more players because uh, there's nothing that really there to do. There's that game, There's great game content there and gameplay, but again, people aren't playing or f- like a lot of people just aren't finding the time to get here and I don't think they will. People do just go off and play other games. I know a lot of people myself who have stopped playing, but let me know down in the comments what you think and what you think will be coming out. Also, go to our Discord and chat with us there. I'm pretty approachable. I'm usually down in the audio channels as well. So let me know down in the comments. I'll see you in the verse, little chickies.